I'm just about to put the slow cooker on for our dinner tonight and I'm gonna make this lemon butter chicken. I've got some flatbreads, oh, pita breads actually I got and some salad to go with it. So I'm just gonna grab everything out and pop this on. doing thank you so much for joining for another weekly vlog i hope you are all doing really well and have had a lovely week so far i have just brushed out my air wrap curls so i'm just going to quickly start um with that ignore all of the mess around me but i have air wrapped my hair and i'm just gonna brush it out i honestly can't remember the last time that i air wrapped my hair because when my hair was a bit oh my god mouthful of hairspray when my, <coughs> oh, when my hair was a bit shorter, when I air wrapped it, it just went like too short and I just felt like it felt a little bit granny-ish. Do you know what I mean? Like when they have the um, big, like the little curl, I don't know, I just, I just felt like it looked really like old fashioned. Um, but now my hair's a little bit longer, I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to give it a go today. So, let's give it a little shake out. Oh my god, look at that front bit. I feel like I'm something from like that 70s show. Right. I'm actually heading to London today with my mum. Um, we are going to like head into Notting Hill Way and we are going to shoot some winter content. Just lots of like really simple like outfits for January and February when it's that kind of time of year where I feel like it's just very like meh with outfits like can't really be bothered to I don't know it just feels very flat like not much inspiration for the outfits you know like summer there's holidays and weddings and like it's warm so you've got like pretty late like light clothes on and then leading up to Christmas it's lots of like party wear or it's exciting when it goes into a new season because I feel like everything feels fresh again but it just feels like it's been winter for a while now before we go into spring so I've just put together some really like simple outfits of just like those kind of staple pieces so I'm excited to shoot those I don't know I feel like yeah I'm quite happy with my hair I mean this front bit's a bit wild but at least it just gives it this is not going to be flat hey let's just have a little look I mean here the curls, I think I did too big a section here because it hasn't actually really curled that. But I don't like it to look too formal as such. Tom's brother is a painter and decorator and he's doing some work uh, in our house. Um, so yeah, hence that's why all the mess because things have been like moved around so he can like get to places and stuff. But he's just popped out to get something. So I thought well, now's my time to vlog because I get really embarrassed to um, vlog in front of other people. Um, so yeah, just a quick, a quick hello because my mum's on her way and we will pack up the car and head into London. All of those updates, those like house updates, I've actually got quite a lot of new exciting house updates and like new things we've done around the house and new things I've bought um, and that kind of thing. That will all be in next week's vlog and I'm really excited to film that because as I was saying about with the outfits, I don't feel much inspiration at all for the outfits, but I feel, I'm feeling like lots of inspiration and lots of excitement, small little things that I've done to kind of refresh and up update my house ready for the new year and I just that's where I'm feeling lots of inspiration right now I'm gonna film and share the outfits that I'm filming today me and my mum have also got some outfits to film together and I've also got a few new pieces from H&M we are in London now it's so sunny dry oh my god it's so bright driving in um 
like the road it's so hard to see the road because it's so bright mum's just run into this little coffee shop we stop at in notting hill to get us a coffee i've had the heating on in the car and um yeah i feel like i need to turn it off to cool my body down before i go out in the cold so it doesn't feel as cold um but i'm just i put a roller in my hair so i'm gonna just take that out in a sec and then we will start shooting I've got the clothes hanging up there and they're on there as well and then in the Ikea bags I put things like jumpers and, and boots and shoes and things like that, things that don't need to be hung up. Bertie, I can't see you. Bertie's in the, oh you can see his little head. Bertie. just set up downstairs for a really cozy night in because we're gonna have a film night so I've put some snacks out blankets candles setting up all of those cozy vibes I'm going to get cozy comfy and watch a film you know me I love TV all year round but I do feel like in this winter cold months I just love watching TV even more um, but we actually haven't watched a film in a little while um, so yeah I'm excited to watch a new film um, so I'm just going to take off my makeup put my pajamas on and I'll see you downstairs before we watch the film I'm just gonna do my skincare and I just really quickly wanted to show you my new skincare drawer because I've reorganized it all um, it's a bit of a I was going to say organised mess, but actually I think it's quite tidy. These are like candle boxes and whenever I get anything in a good little box, I always keep it because it's so good for drawer organisation. So I've got moisturisers here. This is all eye products. These are like serums and oils, SPFs. And these are all face mists and spritzes. I definitely don't need this many, but I just seem to have this many open. And then there's some extra moisturizers down there as well. I didn't end up putting my pajamas on because this jumper is actually so soft and warm. So, I... <coughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I kept this on because it's really nice and soft and warm. And now it is film time, and I'm really excited to share that I'm working with Sky Cinema. So over the next few months, I will be reviewing some of their new and upcoming films, and I will share my thoughts and share my new favourite films with you. I absolutely love Sky Cinema because you know how much I love TV, and there's just endless films on there. There's so many new films coming out every month, but they've also got those like good old classics, like Forrest Gump, My Best Friend's Wedding. I cannot tell you how many times I've watched My Best Friend's Wedding, but I just love it so much. But tonight we are watching one of their new films called The Estate. Um, it's got Toni Collette in, who I love. She's such a good actress and I love the films that she's in. So I think it's a bit of like a dark comedy. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and I will let you know my thoughts after. The Estate. Good morning everyone. We had such a nice relaxing cozy evening last night watching the new film on Sky, The Estate that I mentioned last night. So it's about these two sisters that finds out that their rich aunt is dying. They haven't spoken to her for years. Anyway, they go and see her. She's not a very nice lady. By, by the way, I'm not giving any spoilers here. So they turn up to their aunt's huge mansion on a big gorgeous estate, but when they get there, other family members have had 
the same idea as them. So there's now multiple family members there and they're having all these really silly but funny petty family arguments and squabbles and they are going to extreme lengths to basically like win over their aunt because they want um, the inheritance of this estate. So they're all like fighting over looking after her so that she puts them in the will and the family members are literally going to the extremes to win her over and the things that they are doing is so funny. But although the aunt is dying, because there's so much kind of comedy around it it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel sad at all but then one of their extreme plans really backfires it was one of those films that definitely kept you guessing i kept thinking oh that's how it's gonna end um and then it didn't and then i thought oh well, that's how it's gonna end and it didn't so it definitely uh, kept you on your feet if you're looking for a bit of an easy watching comedy i'd highly recommend that so i'll leave all of the sky cinema details linked below so as i was saying yesterday there's so many films on sky cinema there's new releases every month but they've got those good old classics that sometimes you know you just want to watch something familiar also if you our Sky Cinema user, let me know in the comments any films that you recommend, whether they're old ones or new ones, like let me know your favourites because I am always after TV recommendations. I am just going to carry on getting ready now. Oh by the way, do you like my new cushions in the background? These big ones are new, they are from H&M Home um, and the little ones here these are like a bouquet fabric they are they're from ikea last year actually it's where they were under like three pounds each um but they're they're like really nice quality obviously that was just the cushion cover and i've put the insert in myself i'm really happy with my new pillow arrangement right i'm just going to finish up my makeup here and then i've got some new in bits from h&m to show you my H&M order has finally arrived. I actually ordered this a while back and it's just taken a little while to come. So I thought that we could try on these pieces together. Okay, so I've picked up some, like I was gonna call them winter basics, but they are a bit more like elevated winter basics. Um, this really, really nice cream. It's thick, but not heavy, but it's warm. Does that make sense? It's not like a chunky knit, but it's a nice warm knit. I really, really love this. I've actually just tucked it under my bra because I've got the high-waisted trousers on and I felt that just looked a little bit more flattering. This is what it looks like from the side. It's got these little split seams. It's a really nice off-white. I'm wearing a size medium. They don't put the, t the price on their online tags, do they? It has got 12% wool in, uh, but you can machine wash it. That's good because I hate hand washing stuff. Anyway, yeah, that's the jumper. I really love that. And then trousers. I just love a black um, pair of like wide leg trousers. These have a really nice big elasticated band and um, like a black piping detail all the way through. They've got pockets. I really like them styled with this jumper and these converse. They're not overly wide leg. I'd say they're more of like a straight leg. They're definitely not like flared. They're quite like a... I'll leave them linked below um, on the size that I'm wearing as well, but they, they've got a nice amount of stretch to them, like they're really comfortable, um, but with this piping detail down the front, I feel like it just makes them look a little bit smarter. Next up, these are the same trousers, but in a, like, I don't really know what colour to call them, like a nude kind of colour. I don't think I'm going to keep these because... I would wear them with like a cream jumper and I just feel like these two creams completely just clash and don't work together. The trousers have got like, they're kind of like pinky, they're quite pinky toned and I just don't feel like they go with this knit at all. And I know then I would have like the same problem um, with other cream jumpers that like the colours just don't quite go. So I really like the fit, I'm just, it's just a shame about the colour. And then finally, um, this little hat actually was in last time's H&M haul, but I just put it on this outfit because I thought it looked quite cute with it. Um, this really lovely um, white coat with the tortoiseshell buttons, this is really nice. I'm five foot four for reference and it comes to like my mid calf. I really, really like this. I'm wearing a size medium, I'm normally a size 10. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of room in this coat, which I really like because I love to be able to wear big jumpers underneath and also I like my coats quite oversized. I've got hat hair now, um, but that is everything I got from H&M, just a 
little short and sweet order. Um, yeah, as I said, everything will be linked below. I am back with my mum. And we have got three like easy winter outfits to show you that work for any age. So first up, we are nice and comfortable and warm in this one, aren't we? Yes. So we have got, you can see better here, but we have both got the, I'll show you actually. We're both wearing the 327 New Balance in cream. And we paired it with some black leggings, just cream, um, warm knits underneath. And then we've both gone with a cream oversized coat. Mine is from ASOS and mum's is from Mango. Nice thick wool scarves to keep nice and cosy. These are old from NAKD, but I know that Mango have got some similar ones in at the moment and I'll link everything below. And then we've both got a little Pauline Paris bags on, which is such a good size. Um, you can also take off this longer strap and just have them handheld, but mine is more of like a warm, light neutral shade. And mum's has got a bit more texture um, and it's like a cooler off-white colour, but I feel like they both work well with our outfits. So this is look number one and everything will be linked down below. To look at number two, and I love wearing whites in winter. Winter whites are like one of my favourite um, styles to wear. So we've both got these are kind of like off whitey cream jeans on. We've had these for a long time actually, yeah, haven't we? We've got the yeah, these are from Mango, but I think they still do them. They're just like a really nice straight leg jean. They've got a nice stretch to them, really easy to wear. We've kept the same trainers on as we had before, and then under our jackets, we've got these stripy jumpers from H&M. And then we've both got um, these, like, what are they called? Like, quilted jackets. Yeah. Mum's is from Pauna at M&S, and mine is from H&M. It's quite cold out at the minute, and these are kind of lightweight-ish jumpers. So um, we put a nice big chunky scarf on the top. I meant that the, the jackets are quite lightweight, so we've layered with a scarf to um, keep nice and warm underneath. And then bag-wise, I've got this really nice big teddy tote. So handy, it fits like loads in. You can get my laptop in there as well. And mum's got this really nice Katie Loxton bag as well. Okay, on to our third and final look. So we've dressed it all up a little bit, but we're still nice and comfortable. Um, we've both got a black satin midi skirt on. Mine is a few years old from New Look, but mum's is new from Mango. And it's so nice. I think I prefer hers to mine. It just hangs really nicely at the bottom and i love wearing this because i don't love always wearing jeans but this is like a nice alternative it's really isn't it? yeah it's really comfy but i feel like it instantly adds that layer element of like classiness yeah, doesn't it elegance yeah it does yeah, in like an easy way and then we've both got some um a cream jumper and then we've got these oversized blazers on from asos and they're really nice because they've got um like they're kind of like fluffy like they're really textured you could wear this to go shopping go out for a nice lunch but then you could like take off the blazer you know you could dress up the jumper with some more jewelry and it would be really nice for like a more evening outfit and yeah. we've both got little coach black bags on and yeah i love this look i feel like it, this really works for like both ages doesn't yeah. it yeah, definitely. Yeah. And also, the jewellery that we have been wearing throughout is Monica Vinader. All of my rings are um, Monica Vinader anyway, but mum's got some bits on as well. Some These rings. really nice little hoops um, and this bracelet as well. How nice is that? I've got my Monica Vinader bangle. You bought me this for my 30th. I did, yeah, it's lovely. It's so nice. And inside, it's engraved. And every day I put it on, I think of you. Um, yeah. That's our jewellery. I have just put on another slow cooker recipe for dinner tonight and I'm loving this book. Um, I've spoken about this before on my vlogs and um, I'll link it below on Amazon. The price keeps changing. Like I got it for £9 but then the other day when I shared the link it was £19. So if it's not like under £10, oh one sec, if it's not under £10 save the link and come back to it because the price keeps changing. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you are all having a lovely week. Keeping well, keeping warm. Oh my god, it's been freezing this week. And I'll see you next week. Bye!